post game Penn State Northwestern. Uh, Penn State was able to just pound their way through to a 31 7 win against Northwestern. My key takeaways from the game was that Northwestern really didn't have much going offensively. And I mean, I, I picked it 21. I mean, th- I picked it 31 20. Uh, Penn State's offense did about what I thought it was going to, but Northwestern was really never able to quite get the yards that they needed to to be able to make this a game. They got – it was virtually a shutout. They got that late touchdown on the Penn State backups, and then they almost got a touchdown early on. But other than that, Penn State was getting constant pressure on Clay and Thorson. Justin Jackson really wasn't able to break out and do much today as well, and they really weren't able to really do much at all offensively. And Penn State – offensively was really able to just keep it going but but they really did a good job against Barkley offensively and I mean defensively and they 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 did a good job on him in the first half and Penn State was kind of looking for ways to work around it and the simple way was just having Shirley pass and they were saying Northwestern was saying McShirley you're gonna have to beat us and McShirley did beat him and because their secondary really wasn't that good, and it really isn't that good, and their defensive um, rush in game isn't that bad, and they were able to do okay against Barkley, but uh, re- receiving wise, Penn State did well. They they, they got a lot of guys to go, and they had Gasicki made a couple nice catches after he was banged up last week. Hamilton looked pretty good. Black and Tompkins also made some really nice plays, and John and Juan Johnson played pretty well too. And overall, I think McSorley played pretty well, and he did a good job. But um, the, the offense didn't put it together 100%. I'm still a little concerned about the offensive line, but overall, the, the offense looked pretty good. I mean, North, Northwestern's not a terrible defense, but North, if Northwestern really wants to be good, they're going to have to get the, 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 the offense back into some kind of rhythm. And that's why this game wasn't close. I mean, if Northwestern was able to put up more points like I thought they would, this game probably could have been 31-20. But that just never was able to really happen. They weren't able to put up enough points. And this Penn State defense is doing very well. But uh, Tyler Davis from Penn State, their kicker, he missed another 35-yarder. So I don't know what's going on there, but it's not a good thing. And he's got to be able to get his uh, act together because – you know, today they didn't need it. It was at the end of the game. 31 versus 34, seven's not a big difference, but it might be if it's 31-31 and you need to get a game-winning kick against Michigan, Ohio State, Michigan State, all those kind of teams down the stretch. <coughs> so now they got six games left. Uh, looking ahead, I'm not all that concerned about Rutgers. I'm not concerned about Maryland, really, and I'm not very concerned about Nebraska either. I think they should be able to pick up all those wins. And be able to get the nine games pretty easy. But uh, Michigan State, Michigan, and Ohio State are not going to be easy. Michigan State's looking pretty good. They lost by 20 to Notre Dame in a game that really wasn't even that close. And Notre Dame's playing pretty well this year. I know they went 4-8 and eight last year, but, you know, a lot of those games are pretty close. And they're looking to, like they're gelling pretty well. Go back to Michigan State. I mean, they beat Iowa, and they were able to beat Michigan yesterday. Michigan had it coming. Michigan has, hasn't been playing very well this year. They kind of got lucky against Florida when Florida had their, like, their whole team out, and they almost lost to Purdue. Well, not, not almost, but the game was a little closer than it should have been. And Michigan's not looking all that great. I honestly think the Michigan game might be a little easier than Michigan State now. Uh, and I think Ohio State's going to be hard, too. But I think those these next three games are going to be very – um, telling of the year. Penn State can win two out of three. They they might be in pretty good shape. If they win three out of three, they're in great shape. And if they win one out of three, they're maybe still a, a New Year's Six Bowl team, which wouldn't be bad. But it's probably not you know the, the the year that they probably wanted to. But it still wouldn't be bad. And if they go zero and three, then that would be very disappointing. But uh, still, maybe a, an okay year. So, you know, you have to look at this team um, from there on. I think these next three weeks will really tell us where we're going. I mean, Penn State's 6-0, which is which is good, and they're, they're looking good, but these next three weeks are really going to be the main part of the season. So, Northwestern, Penn State, 31-7, Nittany Lions. Surely look good. Barkley had that one rush, 
touchdown, 75 yards. Other than that, not too much to say on this one. Peace out, guys.